Hi guys! So I know it's been a long long time since I've uploaded I think three weeks or so and that is a record for me. I have enjoyed your company every week for the last three or four years and so I've been missing you! <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to catch up with you and uh, give you some updates as to what's been happening with me and um, yeah. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about, but uh, I have a few things. So one is that um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break with the hiking and so on because I have managed to sprain my ankle again. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this from last year, but uh, here's a little clip. One, I can't walk very far. Unfortunately, last night I hurt my ankle on my treadmill. I know, I know, exercise is bad. <laughs> little rocks, I might actually be able to use one of these pebbles as foreground interest. Ow, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um, my sister-in-law and I have been hiking a lot and uh, I've been running and exercising as I might have mentioned in one of my previous videos because I've been trying to use this at home time to just get ready for spring and summer uh, outdoor uh, outdoor adventures and to be in shape. So unfortunately, instead of getting myself in shape, I have now put myself out of commission for a little while because uh, my ankle is uh, not not good. I can't put any weight on it and I'm just hobbling around on these um, beautiful crutches. <laughs> and if you know John, you know that he's got he's got jokes for me and that he's got me smiling. Um, my new nickname is Hop Along. So <laughs> anyway, I am determined not to uh, be sad about any of it because let's be honest, it could be a lot worse. Things are really good. We are moving into spring. It's absolutely beautiful. And oh, I'm just, I'm loving, I'm loving this weather and the sunshine and even the rain. We have a lot of rain in April and yeah, there's nothing to complain about. So I have my uh, beautiful crutches here, which I picked up yesterday because uh, I just, I really needed to still get around. I've got the four boys and John's feet. And so uh, this is important, but I thought, you know, maybe I could make lemonade out of crutches. <laughs> There's got to be some photographic uses for these, don't you think? So one of the things I thought of, and um, <clears throat> let me know what you think. I thought maybe I could teepee these guys like this and put a, a blanket over it. And then I have like a blind for taking pictures of birds and, and different wildlife in my backyard. <laughs> You're probably thinking, yeah, but why in your backyard? Because I can't get any further than that right now. So, you know, crutches in a blind, why not? I'm also thinking that because I can't carry a whole lot with these, I could use this as a monopod. So, get my crutch like this, camera either in the middle or on top, and I have a makeshift monopod, which actually could bring some decent steadiness to a handheld shots. <laughs> so what else? I'm not sure. They've got these holes on the bottom here. You know, maybe I could kind of line it up with the sun or the window inside and get some like cool dots uh, of light on a surface and do some, um, you know, some what's abstract photography or uh, or something like that what else i'm sure you guys would have some great ideas for me maybe some funny ideas maybe some fun ideas let me know what you think i could do uh, with these crutches and um yeah i think as i as, as i go i'll have some more ideas <laughs> the other thing is that um a little more serious now. I have purchased a book and it is this book. 
which has no title on the front. And you know why it has no title? Because I ripped the title off. It was like a, uh, a piece of paper that was uh, affixed to the cover and it's called, I will show you, 52 Assignments in Landscape Photography. And I'm actually excited about this book because it has what it says, 52 assignments in landscape photography. So things about like using a foreground, keeping it simple, rise and shine, heavy weather, mysterious mist. Each uh, assignment is on one page and it's got like assignment seven, shoot a sunset, but it has things like special kit to use, some tips to use, and uh, assignment 10, reflections. I like this because sometimes when you're a landscape photographer, one of the difficulties is just thinking of something else to do that's new. And a lot of us are stuck in one place and uh, that's okay though, because there's so many different ways to take photos of the same subject. Go at a, a different time of day, go with a different kit, try it with a different lens, do uh, different things. Get inspired by people's photography and see what they've done that's different than yours. And uh, yeah, so this is one way that I'm going to get inspired. In fact, I think I might even take one at a time and we can kind of go through, like for example, uh, color combinations, assignment four, okay? Uh, using a polarizing filter to enhance color saturation when shooting complementary colors. Colors have an emotional impact. So I might take this and then I'm gonna pick a landscape photography location, do my usual uh, vlog and outing, but this would be my goal for that day is to look for color combinations that uh, can enhance a scene or set a certain mood. So uh, that's really cool. So if you're looking for this book, if you want to do this with me, it is 52 Assignments Landscape Photography by Ross Hoddenot, Hoddenot and Mark Bauer. And it's by Ammonite Press. So there's that. And um, we are kind of in a semi lockdown right now. So um, we can still go outside and enjoy things, which is fantastic. I might be a little bit slow as I get there, but uh, there's also flowers popping up in the backyard. There's robins landing on the fence. There's, oh, I can actually feel the warmth of the sun on me. You know, that difference between that winter sun and that summer sun. It's not summer sun yet, but I feel the warmth of it. Just, oh, it feels so good. And, I've also thought of a theme and the theme that I would like to maybe go with for the next few weeks in photography is happy. <laughs> I want every image that I take to evoke an emotion that is positive and um, we'll see. Oh, we have a truck going by. Oh, a bird flying by. <laughs> It is a busy spring day around here and I hope that, uh, that you guys are doing well and I'm trying to still think of some other really good uses for these crutches in photography. Hmm. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed guys, I will be uploading more often, I promise. And uh, I really do miss you. I hope that you're doing really, 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 really well. And I have to get in for lunch. It's, uh, you know, a couple hours away, so I better start moving in now. Okay, <laughs> talk to you soon. Bye, guys.